Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on circumference of a circle. The word circumference is associated with a circle. It is actually the perimeter of the curve. Now we've got three important parts of a circle are shown in the above diagram. The distance all the way along and that line goes through the center is called the diameter. The radius goes from the center of a circle to the curve and the distance all the way around is called the circumference which is the same as perimeter. Either one of the following formulae can be used to calculate the circumference of a circle. So you can use C equals pi d or C equals 2 times pi times r. The two approximations for pi are pi equals 3.142 or pi equals 22 over 7. So they're the two approximations I'll give you and it's possible to be given other approximations which are very close to each of these. The reason I say approximations is pi is one of those numbers in mathematics which does not have an exact value. Hence we use the two approximations. So let's do some examples to see how pi is used. Use pi equals 3.142 to find the circumference of the following circle. We're given that the radius is 9, there it is there, and we've already been told that pi is 3.142. So we can use c equals 2 times pi times r, which is that formula there. So it'll be 2 times 3.142 times 9 and you can use a calculator to work this out or you can do it any other way and you'll find that the circumference is 56.556 centimeters. Next example, use pi equals 22 over 7 to find the circumference of the following circle. Here we're given the diameter is 14 centimeters so since we're given the diameter, we can use c equals pi times d. Pi was given as 22 over 7. There's the diameter. I've put it in the form of a fraction because of the fraction here. So what we do, we can just do cancelling. 7 into 7 goes once. 7 into 14 goes twice. 2 times 22 is 44 centimetres. Find the circumference of a circle with a diameter of 23 centimetres. So we can use pi equals 3.142. So we can use the formula C equals pi times D, which is 3.142 times 23. And as we saw in previous lessons, when you're doing multiplication with decimals, don't worry about the decimal when you're doing the multiplication. Just put down all the digits. Do your long multiplication, which is what we've done here, and I've included all the trading. Then we find the answer, which is there. And remember the rule. You go back to the original question, which is this one, that is the original calculation, and you see that there are one, two, three digits after the decimal point. So in the answer you have three digits after the decimal point, one, two, three. So the answer is 72.266 centimetres. So this video has shown us how to find the circumference of a circle when we are given either the radius or the diameter. And we've had some approximations for pi, which is 22 over 7 or 3.142. And we just use the appropriate formula from the two that we were given.